Hey, Oakley and Maverick, it is question of the day video. I know, grab your cups, let's go. Let's answer some questions for everybody. Well, hey everybody, it is Shelly with Shelly's Yorkies and Slots. How is everybody doing? So, it is a Wednesday. And on my Wednesdays now, sometimes I do big wins and sometimes we do a question and answer series. I get a lot of questions, so I thought, what the heck? Why not just do a video of answering some of the questions that I get? Kind of an overall type thing. So I've loaded into my account my normal thousand in sweeps, which gives me my 50 in bonus sweep. So we're just gonna play some games. We're gonna see if we can't double this money. Wouldn't that be freaking awesome? While we answer some questions. All right, guys, so the first place I'm gonna head to is we're gonna head to the jackpots, because you know that's where I always go first. I always go to the jackpots. Let's see what's hot out here. Oh my goodness, Aztec is still 1.7. What do you think? Should we go win 1.7 real quick? Let's do it. I've talked about this game in um, previous videos. I only play Aztec kind of as like the lottery. I don't play it that often because I don't think it, the 1.7, you know the odds of winning that are very slim, but somebody has to win it, so why not me? I just don't drop a lot of funds on there when I'm playing it. So in here, guys, we need to get at least three across, across and then it will cascade down. We need six of those orbs, preferably with the word major, minor, mini, or even that elusive grand behind any of them. That wild will lock until it gets used, as long as you don't change your deny. But if you do change your deny, it will always be there when you come back. And that leads me to my very first question of the day. It was from DZTV12. What is a good amount to start playing with? You know, DZ, that is a very good question. So I always start, as you guys know, usually with a thousand, which gives me my 50 in bonus, because I like that 50 in bonus. That's why I start with a thousand, because I kind of like that free play. A lot of times, guys, I have played enough off of that free play to cash out. Now remember, if you do start with a thousand fifty or with a thousand and give you the 50 in bonus, you have to play through that entire amount before you can cash out. So that's a tricky one. So you gotta be really careful that you deposit an amount that you are comfortable with playing through so that you can cash it out. I also truly believe that you should have to go sometimes a little deep on these games. So remember, I am playing with funds. This is my fun money, okay? This is, oh, a mini, are you serious? This is my entertainment budget. So start with an amount that you are comfortable with throwing away or losing. You know, remember, this is entertainment. It's like going to a movie, you know? So if you're comfortable with going to a movie and spending $20 on a ticket, plan on spending 20 in here. So start with an amount that you're comfortable with playing on. But be prepared to go a little deep because in some of these games, you are gonna find that you have to go a little bit deep to get some wins. So if you're only starting with $5 and you're trying to bet a dollar a spin, you know, you're not going to get very deep very fast, okay? It's what's going to happen is you're going to get five spins and then you're done. So if you're going to start with $5, then you got to find the games that have 20 cents so that you can get as many spins out of it as time. But be prepared to put some cash in enough that you might need to go deep. Oh, there was a good one. And we got jacks right back to back. Nice. Oh man, we need those aces. So that's a great question. Um, again, I like to start with that 1050 because I like, I will go deep, guys. I will spend that 1000 easily running it through a machine without a problem. But again, start with an amount that you're comfortable with playing on, that you're okay with losing, but enough that if you need to go deep until those bonuses hit, that you can do that. Because some of these games are highly volatile and they're, you might get lucky and hit them in the first couple spins, but most likely, now you're going to have to go a little deep on it. So great, great question, DZ. Come on, Aztec. We've been chit-chatting here and I haven't seen a bonus yet. All right, my next question came from Chief. And I'm sorry, I don't remember the end of Chief's thing. He asked me in a comment, he actually made a comment more than a question and I wanted to voice this one. He put in the comment one time, um, as you guys know, last week I posted a very large win on Shamrock Money Pot. It was a $6,000 line hit. It was freaking hot. Hope you guys have already seen it because I just gave you a spoiler alert of how much I won on it. It was freaking hot. But he made a comment that he thought um, he wanted to know 
if that was actually my win or if that was Mr. Spicy's win. So what you guys are going to see on my channel, you're going to see me win. You're also going to see me lose, but you're going to see me do it. Okay. Always me do it. There was one video I did put out when Mr. Spicy hit the grand while we played on a cruise ship. Okay. I'm sorry. That just needs to be seen. But I put right on there, hubby won grand. I didn't say Shelly won the grand. I said hubby won the grand. Um, any win that you see on my channel is mine. Okay. It is truly mine. If there is anything that's not going to be mine, I will let you guys know. Because, yeah, I could very well be in a casino. I could see somebody hit something big that I might want to post on my channel. And, yeah, I'll put it out there. But I will let you know that it is not my win. It is somebody else's win. So, what you see on my channel will always be mine. And, you know, one thing to watch, guys. If you ever wonder, look at this top. Okay? Look at I have 989. Look at the amount of GCs I have up here, guys. Yeah, that, that's scary, isn't it? Isn't that a freaking scary number? So if I were to play on somebody else's channel, these GCs are going to change, okay? You can't just put those in there. They're just not magically put in there. They're put in there when you purchase regular sweeps coins. So look at those GCs. If you ever saw me play on a channel and this was like at 10,000 or something, then you would probably know that I wasn't playing on my actual channel. Watch those GCs. Now these change all the time. One, it's those GCs are going to change every time that I purchase any sweeps. Also, at times, I go play the GCs because in my, um, excuse me, in my uh, star, in my challenges, are some GC ones. And there's sometimes there'll be a game that I haven't played in a while, and I'll go play GCs first just to see how it does. So those do change all the time. And when I go play in there, watch this, guys. Let me just show you what I do. So if I'm playing GCs, guys, I max bet it. Why not? Do you see how many GCs I have up there? I play max bet. Watch it give me, watch it give it to me, guys. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> I figured it was going to give it to me on the first spin. So that's something you can note on my uh, channel. If you see me playing something, if you see a win, it is going to be a Shelly win. It's not a Mr. Spicy win unless I tell you it's a Mr. Spicy win. Okay? I promise I what I show on my channel is truly what I'm playing. Okay? I, I don't do anything behind the scenes that you guys don't need to know about. This is truly my money. I don't have anything to hide from you guys. This is truly my hard-earned cash or my joking that this is my kid's inheritance. Okay, so if you see me playing this, it's my money. Okay, it's my games. It's my wins. If it's not, I guarantee I will tell you. But it was a good thing to bring up because, guys, there are channels out there that do that. I am not bashing those channels. They have the right to do whatever they want to on their channel, and that's fine. That's just not what I put on my channel. Okay, I don't think Aztec's going to pay. Let's go play something different because Aztec is kind of boring me. I don't know about you guys, but it was kind of boring me. Let's see. Did anything else out here look good? <laughs> Should we go see if we can find the really, really rich girl? Let's see if we can go find the Miss Woohoo. Everybody tells me she is out here. I have not seen her in a while. So let's see if we can get this really, really rich woohoo girl to drop us that nice $7,000 SC major. I'm going to put it on auto while I pick my next question. If you guys have questions, put them down below. And maybe I'll pick your next question of the day. Come on. We need six of those fire shots or three of those crowns. Or we need that woohoo girl, which I, I joke, guys. I think she's been kidnapped to come out of one of these two windows. Come on, Woohoo Girl, where are you? One thing I like about this really, really rich game. Ooh, come on, crown, crown, crown. Crown. Oh, is the mini is one fifth of the minor. On some of them, it's one fourth, but on the uh, really, really rich, it's one fifth. What I don't like about this game is the line, oh, oh is the lines. It has its line pays are completely different than some. It only pays in 34 different ways, so it doesn't have as many line out there as some of the other ones do. Come on, woohoo girl. Prove to me that you're out there. All right, let's go on to my next question of the day. The next one came from Kissy Cat, one of my friends and wonderful subscribers and dog pound members to my site. 
she mentioned in there her comment she says shelly love that you have that charlie's angels hair and you have mentioned that you lived in colorado and was colorado a party place when you were young well one kissy cat i'm still very young <laughs> okay i'm really not that young guys but yes it was a party place back then colorado's a lot different I lived in Colorado in um, the late 80s and early 90s is when I lived in Colorado. I'm basically a Wyoming girl, but I did live in Colorado for just a brief time. Yes, I went to Colorado with a guy. Chased a guy. Okay. You know, it happens in our younger years. Followed him to Colorado. Um, and I truly loved Colorado back in those days. It was so much fun. I lived in Colorado when they started gambling there. Okay, up in Blackhawk and Central City is was the first spots that they started gambling. And I literally was there the weekend that they opened, I was up there. Yes, I was there the very first person in one of the casinos, well, first first people in the casinos when they opened that opening weekend. Don't remember when it was. It was a Saturday. I was up there and it was one of the most fun times I've ever had. Colorado was hopping back then. We used to go to all the cowboy bars. Um, we just used to have an absolute blast in Colorado. Loved it at that age of growing up. Loved it. There was just so much to do. There was always a concert to go see. We went to Red Rocks. I mean, there was always something to do in Colorado. Loved it. If you had money, there was always something you could do, which was kind of my problem when I was younger. Didn't have the money like I do now, So, but I did. So yes, Kissy Cat, that was a great question. Colorado was a party place back in the day. Oh my god, it's the woohoo girl. She is alive. And she gave me the minor. Oh, oh I sure. love you, woohoo girl. You are alive. She is not the myth and the legend. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe she just gave me that minor. <laughs> it was because of your question of the day, Kissy Cat. It was because of your question of the day. All right, let's go ahead and drop that major then. If you would like to do that, that would be freaking amazing. Come on, we got to have one. Just one. There we go. Come on, major. Drop that major. Go. If I fill that whole thing, we win $33,000. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, guys. I have been having kind of a cold over this summertime, and I just can't seem to kick it. Come on, one. Thank you. Come on, let's fill it up. Come on, come on. And I just need one. One, one, one. Woohoo! Thank you, woohoo girl. That was freaking awesome. Check this out, guys. On a $2 bet, we just had a 145x win. Yes, that was freaking amazing. Thank you, Woohoo Girl. Very nice. Okay, so that's going to get me back to, because she mentioned Charlie's Angels. Somebody had asked me before, because yes, I rock the Farrah Fawcett hair. You guys, I have had the Farrah Fawcett haircut or style since the 80s. So of all the Charlie's Angels, guess which one was my favorite? You got it. It was uh, good old Jill Monroe with Farrah Fawcett and I did watch every single one of the uh, Charlie's Angels. Loved, loved, loved that series. I mean just loved it. It was just so my generation. All right I think we've probably tapped this out because that woohoo girl she doesn't come out very often and she's probably exhausted by now so she's probably had to go back into hibernation for another three months because that's about how long it's been since I've seen her. All right let's go play another game while I have just, I think we'll do one more. No, we'll do two more questions. All right, so let's see. Let's just play a regular game. Let's go play Three Wizards. I like this game. You guys know I like Playtech games. Not everybody can have Playtech games. In some areas, Playtech games are not um, allowed to be on the Chumba site. So if you guys don't have Playtech, if you can't see this game that I'm playing, it's because of that. Okay, so for my next question... Um, I'm sorry I didn't write down who it was, is what time of day is the best to play? You know, that is another really good question, and I get that asked a lot. Now, the time that I get to play, oh, by the way, we need five in here because we have this turned on, or we need three of those castles. So I can only play, I have 
um, a couple of businesses and work full time besides being on YouTube and gambling. So my time that I get to play is really just set by my workload. Okay, not necessarily what I want to play, but when I'm able to play. So I play early in the morning. That's why you guys see a lot of my videos at 4 a.m. Or I like to play on the weekends. Okay, that's the time that I like to play. Not saying it's the luckiest time to play. Okay, because I, you know, some of my times are not lucky. My dog pound does the absolute best in the middle of the night. Okay, so in the middle of the night to me is anything after they're playing usually from like 10 o'clock till like 2 a.m. in the morning. And if they are hitting, oh, bam, bam, bam. If they are hitting, that's usually when they're hitting. I wake up in the morning to my dog pound. I wake up with all their messages, with all their wins, all their fun stuff that they did overnight. All right, guys, so we, every time we get one of those lightning bolts like that, it will open that up and open up the lock down below. We need two more lightning bolts to open up the blue. The blue will get us that awesome blue wizard. He's the best because he can do a multiplier. So we need a star or we need a lightning bolt. So come on. We need the wizards to drop down here. We can get a green or a red wizard right now. Come on. Where's my star? Where's my lightning bolt? So red can throw out anything. He can throw out stars. He can throw out lightning bolts. Come on. There we go. Green will start uh, and grab amounts from all these different ones and make a giant egg. I'm not sure why it's an egg, but it's an egg. There we go. Come on, we need a lightning bolt. Ah, oh, we're not getting a lightning bolt. We're never going to open that blue one. Come on, lightning bolt. And last one. We need one. One, 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 one. Oh, that's all right. That was still a good one. So, um, everybody has different times that seem to be luckier to them. But my dog, Pound, does the best. And this is um, Mountain Standard Time that I'm talking about. So, anywhere from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Seems to be doing the best in that. They're called the Late Night Gamblers, and they do really well, usually. I personally, I don't get to pick when I play. I just get to play when I get to play. That was awesome. We are doing great, guys. We're up a couple hundred. All right, we're going to ask one more question, and then we're going to be done. So again, if you guys have questions, put them down in the comments. You can do it on any of my videos. If you have a question, even if it's not in this one, but in a future one, put it down in, the vi in one of my videos, and I'll grab one of these in the future. I like doing these questions of the day. These are cool. All right, let's go play a different game while we do our very last question. Okay, let's see. You guys can probably hear the dogs snoring and everything. Let's go play some Oink Oink. Another play tech game. All right. All right, let's play $2. What we need in here are any of the coins, red, green, or blue. They will throw it over there and possibly break open these banks. Or I need three of these mallets. If I get three of those mallets, it will automatically put me in one of those bonus games. <laughs> oh my goodness, we got the best one already. I think the green one's the best. What we need is the 10 with the three. 3,000 ways times 10. Oh man. I like the 3,000 ways better than the more free games, but that's okay. In here, though, we just need some more of those green orbs that will give us that right there. That will give us a free game. So come on, a whole bunch of winners. A whole bunch, hey, something, wilds. There we go, a little bit of something. We need that green. We need those orbs. We need those games to keep coming in. We need those Waka Waka uh, wallets that are wild. Come on. Green, 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 green. There we go. Wallets all the way across. Come on, where's my green? I need a green. I need a green. There we go. D or, uh, gold bars. That's always fun. Come on, Oinker. Give me the green one. I need wilds. We need a green one. Oh, man. That was a dead spin. There we go. There we go. Not 
bad. Not bad at all. $37. All right. So that leads up to the last question of the day. Bam. Oh, I really thought we had that. Oh, oh, a double popper. I've never had a double popper. They tell me it can be done, but I have never seen it. I have not had it happen. They say if you get a double pop, what happens is you play one game and then it just leads you right into the second one. Oh, so Grunt, just so you know, Grunt will pop it and you can get one of these jackpots. Squeak will pop and it will have a wheel, which either give you a 120x win up to 120x win or put you in one of the bonus games. Come on, pop it again, green. Oh. All right, let's do the last question of the day. Okay, so the last question of the day came from Cody Hoff, 8131. We don't want to get it confused with Cody Hoff, 8130. So this is Cody Hoff, 8131. Came up with this one. Asking for a friend... Which is your favorite child? <laughs> My dog pound numbers know who Cody Hoff is. Okay, Cody Hoff 8131, who you are. Um, guys, I have three children. Um, and as a mom, that is such a fun question that you know children ask all the time. I love that. Asking for a friend, what is your favorite child? So, Cody Hoff. Here's my answer for you, honey. As the years have gone through the time with you children, from the time that you were little till where you are right now, still asking questions at the age of almost 30, asking these questions, the favorite child in a mom's life will change frequently. I don't have a favorite child. I have times where one of my children will be easier to deal with or will need my help more throughout life. I do not have a favorite child at all. Now, my favorite child might be at the end of my life. When I'm towards the end of my life, we'll throw this out there to my children. Oh, I thought I had it. My favorite child will be the one who does not put me in a nursing home and will take care of me at the end of my life. You know, that Mr. Spicy and I can live in their basement and you guys can take care of me. That'll probably be my favorite child. But to this point in my life, I do not have a favorite child, Cody. I have numerous ones that have been easier to have around, that have needed my help more than others, but there was never a favorite child in my life. Very cute of you to ask, Cody Hoff. All right, guys, I think I've answered all questions um, that were posted recently. Again, put them down in the comments. If there's another question of the day that you would like answered, put them down in there. I know a few people have asked me to do videos on playing blackjack. They've also asked me to do some videos on playing some bingo. So, yeah, you know, I might be doing that in the future. I appreciate you guys watching my Wednesday channel uh, video. Hope you enjoyed it. I will be back on Friday for a live play video. Remember, not a live stream. It's called a live play video where you get to watch me and the Yorkies um, play in some slots. We'll see what happens. I will be live up, hopefully, though, in Blackhawk, Colorado next weekend. We're headed up there on Thursday, July 4th. We'll be there through the 7th looking for a casino that will allow me to do some live streaming. So if I can find a casino that will allow me to do some live streaming, guys, I'll be live from the casino next week. Come on, break it on our way up. All right, one more spin and we'll call it. Do it, Grunt. Oh, all right, guys. So we came in here at 1000 in Shelly's money. We're leaving with 1200 Not a bad, what, 20 minutes of work. Hope you enjoyed my questions of the day. I appreciate you guys always watching my channel. And if you haven't given me a thumbs up, I would sure appreciate it. Have a blessed day. And remember, life can be rough out there. So please be kind to each other. See you guys again soon. Bye.